So then we've created our clock assignment grid. We've got our clocks, we've got our global rules, we've got our clock rules. Now we're actually ready to schedule and produce a station log. And uh, to do that, we go into the schedule tab here down at the bottom. And uh, we've got various little buttons to choose from here. So uh, let's actually do it in order as we see them. View log uh, will bring up the log for us to be able to uh, see what's going on. And uh, we can see here that uh, it's brought up uh, Monday's log, midnight Monday morning. This the uh, the log here for this. We can see the header block here, Monday the 30th. And it's using the Hot FM default uh, global rule. And it's an auto fade hour. We can see here that we've got one hour and three minutes, 10 seconds worth of music in there. And so this is actually our log. And uh, one of the main benefits of uh, auto track Pro uh, version 4 is that this is the actual log and we can manipulate that. It's total log integration, it's called, and it means that we can manipulate this in real time and it will be reflected on the station log. You don't need to rerun and re push your logs once they're through. Uh, you then have the ability to change around. So if we wanted to go to a different time, we could select here on the go to. If you wanted to go to breakfast time, just move it to underneath breakfast, seven o'clock, click on OK. We now jump to Monday at uh, seven o'clock in the morning and we see what's uh, being scheduled here. So uh, there we go. We're waiting until uh, two minutes and five here on the uh, default clock. Um, the IRN news running just a little bit later. And uh, so we start the out with the top of hour. We go through and there we see we've got an unscheduled song. And so we can uh, select the song and uh, we can go to suggest here and uh, we can suggest uh, maybe f song from the same category. Now, uh, we're running on a slightly smaller resolution screen than you would do normally just to be able to bring the icons nice and big for you. But uh, this brings up the suggest window and there's a whole host of bits and pieces that we can do here to have a look at. So we are suggesting a song. We can click on various songs and we can see whether or not uh, it would make a suitable replacement. So here we've clicked on this Kylie Minogue Red Blooded Woman song, and we can see that uh, it was last played or will next be played in uh, seven hours from now. It wasn't played yesterday or tomorrow. Uh, the last time the artist was played, well, that was uh, one thirty-seven in the morning, and it won't be played again until 12 o'clock, so I think that's a reasonable uh, addition. So to add that song, we can just double click on it, and uh, in it goes and fills out our schedule so we've not got any missing ones there anymore now depending on how your screen is you may want to lay this out slightly different to do that you can click on display and then it'll do it in a side view and if you click that again it'll do it at the bottom so the choice is yours as to how you want that to look i'll leave it uh, down like that so we can look at our log here if we wanted to just change the order left click and drag to be able to move it up and down got our advert break there that's fine that'll be scheduled here with a dry sweeper coming out of it promo in the middle there advert break again uh, and that's all fine advert break um, and so that's that's all okay and uh, we can have a look through we can uh, we can see what's going on and uh, also what other songs were tested in this spot no no other ones were tested so it's not having too much of a problem selecting from our a list we've got a few more and then there's our news intro absolute time and then our news in there going into the news and then our end and then it starts the eight o'clock hour so uh, that's go to if we didn't wanted something different from that list we can go to same category and type and then that that selects and we could uh, change that for Katie Tunstall not causing us too many problems and to bring that up we can we can see the artist separation so Katie Tunstall uh, that was two hours ago five o'clock in the morning ah, we're okay we're okay with that um, and uh, so we're we're fine um, we can pull down here and uh, just select our a B and our C list and we can drag songs straight from there if we wanted to drag them straight into the log if we wanted to in, in increase the number of songs that we've got there 
We can also add new things to the log as well. So if we wanted to insert a, uh, a little command or uh, advert break or a script or a text item, we can add, add in there. Um, plug competition, competition at 8.15. Stick those, bing, and then there's a little script that comes up, enabling them to read it. And uh, so that enables us to head on through the log. So go to, we can suggest songs to replace or suggest songs to replace unscheduled. We can uh, preview the log item, so we can click on preview. And now it plays out there. We can even go in and look at the seg editor. And this is the new improved SEG editor within both Myriad Auto Track Pro and Myriad Playout as well, uh, enabling you to tighten up the segways. You can have a listen. And uh, make sure that that's OK. You can move that, move that forwards if you wanted to, move that in and in and out so that it starts a little bit earlier. Here comes another hour of hot just to tighten things up and then you can save that and that gets saved back into the log. You can see here that we've made some changes because the log's gone red. So that's the preview, seg edit, charts. We uh, bring that up. It uh, enables us to have a look at uh, the at the hour, see how see how we're doing with tempo and mood, just to kind of see how how things are progressing. We can uh, bring those up there. We can uh, actually just if we just move this whole uh, screen up a little bit more, that will enable us uh, to be a little bit better. Uh, just close that down. We can bring up the charts uh, and we can see here uh, kind of what, what the hour's like, really. In terms of uh, the kind of music that we're playing, ah, we just scroll down there. That's better. We can see kind of the kind of flow of the music and uh, how we're doing that's charts and then you got tested which again if if it had to test a, a few songs it would show you the songs that it's tested and the reasons why it didn't want them but uh, it's not having any problem selecting our music at the moment so that's a really good sign that uh, we've got we've got enough for it to uh, to get along with so you do have total log um integration basically you can uh, move things up and down in the order you can unschedule the item uh, you can yep yeah, move copy and paste um, basically everything that you've got here everything that you've got in myriad you can do here change the item sweep over the item insert replace delete all that kind of thing make sure things are locked make queue up a an auto seg you can preview the item so we can preview the song down here see what it sounds like check that everything's okay with it um, and then we can also double click on it to bring up the card if we needed to change anything uh, that we wanted to do in terms of uh, the details of the song. So that is the view log window.